Hi, everyone. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Welcome to our EA Sports Showdown here tonight. All right, we're just moments away here. Uh, where's your scout cam going tonight? I'm going to look and see who gets their star players involved in the game earliest, who's going to be able to carry the matchup, and which coach feels like he's playing chase most of the night. Opening face-off just moments away. This is what you play for. Moments like this, you can feel the energy in this building, and we are underway. Here they come on the attack. Hangs onto the puck. Strong defensive effort, and he loses control of the puck. Through center along the wing. Foot slugging the puck. From the point, they take control of it. Puts it up front. Snaps one here in the slot. He was locked in there. Denies him again. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Tough ones at that. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Smith's won it off the faceoff. Syracuse moves it ahead. Great hand-eye coordination as he gets the puck back. Off his stick. Scores! Listen to this place. What a start for them. Get the game's first goal. Now they have to keep the pressure on. Well, there's the first goal of the series, James. You want to take the lead, you want to play with it. They've got the upper hand. The Crunch have a quick strike to take a 1-0 lead. You can script it all you want. You've got to execute it. This is perfection by the home team. Great start for them. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. Syracuse has it in the defensive end. Nice zone entry on the left side. Syracuse slides the puck against the wall. Grabbed along the board by Simpson. Delayed penalty looming. Quick whistle stops the play. And he's going to head to the box for elbowing, Ray. Gets the elbow up, finishes the check, and it's a pretty easy one for the official to detect. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. Down by one, now you've got a power play. Make sure that you're organized and look for the tying goal. The easy glove save by Gibson. Two minutes, 46 seconds. Smith's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Gets it out of his own end. Moves the puck along the half wall. Moves it quickly over to McKinnis. Here's a chance to set up now. Wrists one. They score! Good effort onto the puck to get into the zone clean and then set it up and are able to cash in. play takes advantage of that extra man nicely they move the puck around and set up a shot but then they have traffic in front of the net making the goaltender really work to see it we're still in the early stages of this period you can feel the energy in this crowd it's a tie game Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. By number 64, Trey Fixed. Clint Dennings got it against the boards. Wrist shot from the slot, and the traffic neutralizes that threat. Time of the goal. Three minutes, 37 seconds. Takes it across the blue line. Handles the puck at the point. Cleveland's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Syracuse moves ahead with the puck. Moves it to foot. And down he goes as 
the puck goes free. Great defensive effort with the strip. Scrum ensues along the boards. At center ice now, he grabs the puck, puts it in deep. The Monsters get a hold of the puck along the boards. Passes on over to Gallant. Cleveland's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Syracuse has it. Here's a short pass to Colton. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Misses! Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Came up with the same on that play. They'll dump it in and peel off for a change. Cleveland's gained possession along the boards. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Maintains possession. Quick feed to Collins. Stopped by the goaltender. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Gibson's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We are all tied up in this one. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. And he denied that opportunity. Back at the point, they set it up. Denies that opportunity. Up, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. The Monsters will go to work here in the offensive zone. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. The Monsters gain possession along the wall. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Battling for it along the boards. He grabs the puck here at the point. Chris one in close. Denies him in front. Really smooth stop here as he deflects this puck into the corner out of danger. Gets a pat on it. Cleveland's on the attack. Right in the slot. Nice poke check. Takes the feed. Here they are on the attack. Oh, smart heads are play to poke that one away. Centering pass. Back to the point it goes. And that goes off a player in front. The Monsters take it along the wall. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Battle along the boards. And now he angles it across to McKinnis. Syracuse moves it quickly along the wing. The Crunch have taken possession along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. That's a dangerous scoring chance, but the goaltender makes a great save as he's able to snuff it out. More than half the period has expired. We got a tie game. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Keeps hold of the puck. The Monsters move to the offensive zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. The Monsters glided along the line. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. Along the wing up the neutral zone. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Tries to feed it across. Scott's got it along the wing. Great read by the goalie as he pokes it away with a stick. Here's an odd man rush. Sends it over. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Right up the gut. Here they go. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. With the stop. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Made that stop. Yeah, he flashes the leather there to make the stop on a really difficult chance.
Masters win the faceoff. Quick pass to Sherwood. Takes the pass. Referee signaling for a penalty. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Let's see the call here. Hooking's the call. This is what yeah. they kind of call the lazy penalty these days, yeah, right? Yeah, it is, but, it, but really the problem is you're beat, and you panic, and you're trying to help, and the more you help, the worse it gets. Go sit down. And he certainly dug himself a hole there. Power play unit going back to work. I like what they've done on the power play previously here, and so they really want to duplicate what they've done. They have to be aware. The penalty killers will probably change approach. They have to be sharp for that. Cleveland's got the puck along the wall. Steps into the offensive end. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. So often in a in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, you step on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. Cleveland's got a five-on-three, and the clock's their BFF here. Too many times on a long five-on-three, the power play becomes static. Get it to the middle at the very least. Shoot it and make the penalty killers react. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Made the save on the play. Puck battle along the boards. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Puck slid down the ice. The Monsters have it against the wall. Rocked him in the open ice. We got a penalty coming up as he was hooked on the play. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. And the official signaling for hooking on the play. Got to move your feet here. You're chasing the play. As soon as you stop your feet, you're going to get called. Four on three power play, but for not much longer. Well, even though they took the penalty, they still have a power play here. Now it's a four on three. And he slides it quickly to Mateau. Power play expires. Both sides back to even strength here. And we are still tied. Oh, when the puck moves and the feet don't, this is what you get. You had lots of zone time but no real dangerous chances on that power play. Syracuse goes to work on the power play with their man stepping out of the box. And he regains control of the puck. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Slides the puck over. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. I loved making that save in road hockey, the old blocker stop. In the final moments of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Nice job tying up his opponent and gets control of the puck once again here in the open ice. Nice defensive robbery on that. With possession along the wall. Made the stop on that play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Impressive effort by the penalty killers as we are back to even strength and we are still tied. Oh, I really like the penalty kill there. They were on the same page almost all over the ice that entire power play. The game stays tied because of their fine work. Syracuse plays it along the wall. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to foot. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. Syracuse plays it up ahead. Throws it in. Cleveland's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Sherwood. Looking for space inside the D zone. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Couldn't complete the play. Scoops up the puck here. They've got numbers. Takes that pass back at the point. And that goes wide. Cleveland's got the puck in the defensive end. Excellent stick work on the play. Slides the puck to Gallant. And with the sound of the horn, that brings some finality to the opening period, and we've got a close one. Hey, hockey fans, follow the team all season long on the radio for every minute of play-by-play -play action, both home and away. 
or listen to the online simulcast at home or on your smartphone. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on Sports. A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. Still tied up here as we get underway here in period number two. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Syracuse has another gear or two than they played in that first period. They don't have many shots on goal. Probably lucky that the game's tied. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Syracuse has it in their own zone. Here they come on the attack and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. The Monsters are in transition. McKinnis is tripped up, and we've got a penalty coming up. Here comes the sentence. Tripping is the call. Did he sell, or is that the right one in your mind? I think it's the right one. He looks like he's picking up speed, and the stick gets into his feet. The Monsters send their man advantage unit out once more. Hey, another power play for them. They've been successful tonight. I don't think they changed the script much here. Cleveland's won the faceoff and tries to make a diagonal pass to Mateau. Takes the feed, and that one's turned away. Puck clears the zone. The Monsters have it behind the cage. Sends it quickly to Simpson. Sherwood's got it in the offensive zone. Denies up with the blocker. What a stop by Gibson. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Quick work. He makes one and two saves in a row. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. It's all tied up. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Whistle blown as a few players go ducking for cover on the bench. The setters will glide into the dot. The Monsters win it. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. And they do just that. Oh, I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's a time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. To his teammate with authority. Couldn't connect on that pass. Manages to hang on. And we are still tied after an excellent kill by the shorthanded unit. Oh, a good power play is about 20%, James. That one falls in the other 80%. They don't get it done. The power play expires. And he can't find his man. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Handles the puck. Nice pass. Syracuse gets the puck near the boards. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. And he slides it quickly to Gallant. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Move to the middle. Here's a short pass to foot. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Stays with it. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Cleveland's got it along the wall. Grips it, rips it. Nice save off the tender's pad. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. The Monsters will play it in their own end. Tries to the crease. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Here's a shot and makes the save. Trying to get back on the attack now. The Monsters have it behind the net. No one home on that play. Syracuse gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. They fight for it along the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. The Monsters move it ahead. Takes the feed from the left side. Syracuse has it near the wall. 
Big play inside the defensive zone. Witkowski's gaining momentum. Hangs on to the puck. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. The Monsters take it along the wing. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Loose puck battle along the boards. Grabs it in his own end. Sends a pass over. Breakaway. Pumped away by the goaltender. Oh, I like this, James. The goalie reads that he puts his head down just for a second, and he pokes it away. The Crunch have gained control of the puck along the wall. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Syracuse plays the puck from the corner. Looks to set up at the point now. Right to the middle. Oh, wide of the net. Wants to get rid of it quickly. Wants to get it to the net before he's ready. Unfortunately, he just misses wide. Blocked in traffic. Cleveland's got it against the boards. Knocked away. Here's a chance. And that sails over the net. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. The Monsters scoop it up along the boards. Here they come. Pass it up ahead. Pokes it away in his own end. And the linesman calls icing on the play. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Here in the back half of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And now he tries to get it across to Smith. Syracuse with possession in their own zone. Moves it around along the half wall. Cleveland's got a hold of it along the wall. And it's a quick pass to McKinnis. And now it's over to Mateau. Makes his presence known on the ice. And now he moves it to Smith. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Syracuse plays it along the wing. The Monsters take over on possession. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Cleveland's got possession at center. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. A shot! Oh, he's going to be shaking his head after that one. Yeah, you go back to the bench here, kicking yourself in the rear end. You've got a scoring chance, and you don't even get it on net. Maintains possession. Big time glove save! Hey, guys, can we take another look at that replay? Everybody likes a clean hit. Watch how solidly he goes through, makes the contact there. That's a big hit. The centermen glide into position. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Cleveland's moving it up the ice. On the attack along the boards. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Quick feed to Joseph. Uses the force on that hit. Long pass across the ice. The Monsters carry it along the wall. And they can't convert to the play. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. That's going to rattle your molars around there. That is an enormous hit that he took. Here in the late goings of the period, we are all tied up in this one. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Gauntz carries the puck in his own zone. Oh, a little too much stick work. And the officials with their arms in the air. Puck picked up in the open ice. Here comes the call from the official. And he's going to get two for hooking on the play, Ray. He should. I mean, he gets his stick out parallel to the ice. He gets it across the player's midsection. And that's kind of a red flag for that penalty. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Sometimes you have to have the shortest of memories when you play on a specialty unit like the power play. It hasn't gone very well for them so far tonight. They have to attack this power play with a renewed vigor. Hammers one. Denies him with the save.
And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Let's it go. Gobbles the puck up there with the chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Stones him on the play! Syracuse takes possession off the draw. The Monsters will kill off a few extra seconds now. Dumps it into the O-zone. Syracuse has possession of it now. Up along the wing. From the neutral zone now. Find some space in the corner. Here's a chance! And he comes up with it. Wrist went in front. Scores! And the deadlock is broken! Well, what a crushing goal to give up. But the other guys work hard for it. They press the play, and now they've got the lead. That's how you score in tight. Take the rebound, take the gift, and put it away right in the top of the net. The Crunch have jumped out to a one-goal lead as they get set for the faceoff here late in the second. Terrific place to be. You'd love to have a one-goal lead going into period three. Syracuse has it in the open ice. Along the half wall with the puck. Manages to hang on. How do you miss that, Ray? I don't know, but we all do. You're right in the scoring zone, and you don't even test the goal. The Monsters get a hold of the puck along the boards. Regains possession at center. Takes control of the puck. Receives the pass. Skates across the blue line. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Just a great defensive read there. And that one's picked off in the neutral zone. Keeps hold of the puck. Sends the pass over. Syracuse plays the puck along the boards. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, couldn't finish the job. What an excellent opportunity, Ray. They worked their way into good shape. He's just not able to beat the goalie. And the sound of the horn will wrap things up for period number two in what has been a tightly contested affair. Are you ready for a walk down memory lane? Then it's time to sign up for our fantasy camp. Play hockey with childhood heroes. The it's third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. You can visit the team website. period action are you ready i'm ready ray's ready the players are ready let's go here we go put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period we are underway ray with two periods in the books what are your thoughts on the game to this point the monsters are talking on the bench about how they're happy with the way they've played happy with the puck possession but they have to find a way to finish quick pass to joseph here's a blast big save by the goaltender Here's a shot! Another stop by the goaltender. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Battling for it along the boards. Sends the pass across the ice. And now he moves it quickly to McKinnis. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Monsters get a hold of the puck in their own end. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. The Monsters take it across the line. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Gaunt moves it ahead. Syracuse plays it against the boards. That pass goes a little sideways. Smith stick handling in his own zone. Moves the puck. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. And he regains control of the puck. And he misses! 
That's a really good scoring opportunity that the goalie doesn't even have to make a save on. And he's ridden off the puck. Taken along the wall by Thomas. Scoops up the puck now. Takes the feed. Syracuse has it against the half wall. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Cleveland's got it across the line. Hammers a shot. Great save by Gibson. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. It's a 2-1 game. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Gibson's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Cleveland's got it in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Here's a shot off target. Puck picked up by Thomas. Syracuse takes possession along the wall. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Thomas plays it now. Gaining momentum along the wing. Slides the puck across. Puts it on net with the stop. Cleveland's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Takes a shot just wide. Here's a pass down low. Gibson's got the puck, and he elects to hang on for a stoppage in play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. These are positional saves. This is a good scoring chance, and he makes the stop with his stick. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period, it's 2-1. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Tries to get it over to Winkowski. Here's a chance in front, and puts it right over the crossbar. You can go games without a chance from here. Pokes the puck away. Moves it quickly over to Colton. Takes the pass. Takes the shot. Oh, going wide. Cleveland's got him along the wall. Off the left wing and into center. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Takes the feet at the back end. The Crunch have possession along the boards. Colton's on the attack in the offensive zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Let's it go. Stones him in front. Now a quick pass to Mateau. Looks to get the puck over to Colton. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Syracuse on the attack. He scores! I believe a colleague of ours likes to call those back-to-back. -back. Yeah, the coaches want you to stay aggressive after you score. They do that, and they're able to put another one up on the board. I like his patience. He gets it to the backhand and puts it in. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Cleveland's won the draw in the neutral zone. Jabs the puck away. Cleveland's got it in their own zone. And now he angles it across to McKinnis. Syracuse tries to break out from their own end. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. Slides it across. Comes up with the stop. Past the midway mark of the frame, Syracuse has really pushed the pace over these last few minutes, leading by a pair. The Crunch have the puck against the boards. The Monsters gain possession in their own end. Sets up from Gretzky's office. Moves the puck along the half wall. Great pad save. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Stays with it. Syracuse gets the puck near the boards. 
Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Cleveland's got it behind the net. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Oh, and he slowed him up, and the official's right there all over it. Slides the puck over. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Let's get the official decision. The crunch have been penalized. They'll serve two in the box. I guess at a certain point, you got to let the guy go, but he worries that he's out of position, so he tries to slow him down with a hook. Pretty cut and dry call. Cleveland's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Best part about being on the power play, no matter how good or bad it is, you get another chance. Out you go, and you've got a chance to make it better. Takes a shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Lacks it into the offensive zone. Cleveland's got the puck along the boards. They go on the attack through center. He's got a step and rings it off the post. Oh, that's a bad sound to hear. You make a good shot, you beat the goalie, and the puck's coming back. Goalies like that sound, though. Grabbed along the board by Smith. Slows him up on the play, and that's going to cost him as the officials caught that one. Hooking the call and maybe a little sell job along the way? A little bit, but the player's got to move his feet. As soon as you stop, if it's even close, you're going to get mad. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. I love four-on-four. -four. It doesn't take much for the scoring chances to start piling up. The Monsters play it along the boards. Gallant's got the puck. Here's a chance right in front. Big time save by Gibson. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. And all alone on the breakaway. And there's the save. Gibson's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Past the midway mark in this period. It's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Cleveland's won the draw. Moves it to Collins. Through center along the wing. And tries to make a diagonal pass to McKinnis. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. The Monsters gain possession along the wall. Gains the zone through center. The Monsters get a hold of the puck under man. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. The Monsters with a huge penalty kill there. That's a big swing and a miss right there for the power play. Critical moment of the game, and they're not able to cash in. Nothing! Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. A critical draw here. And with the two centers tangle up, the winger skates away with it. Gallant's got it into offensive territory. Move to the middle. Huge steal in his own end. Syracuse looks to break out in their own end. Couldn't complete the play. Cleveland's got the puck. Loses his balance on the play. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Gains the zone on the left wing. Takes the feed. From the right side, they gain the zone. Here's the pass. From the slot, fires away. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Off the tip, scores! Oh, what a one-timer to bury it! The good thing he one-times this puck. The goalie almost gets there. But the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Syracuse has seemingly found a way to get almost everybody on the scoreboard here tonight, Ray. Yeah, now it's at the point, James, that guys are starting to be point hungry. And you want to pad your own stats, you get up in a game like this, you'll take a chance that you wouldn't in a 2-1 game. Does that happen much? Oh, yeah. When we were ahead, I was always digging for another goal somewhere. <laughs> Keeps a hold of it on the play. Gains the zone from the right. 
Syracuse gains a hold of the puck against the boards. From the point, looks to make something happen. Here's a chance, fires the wrist shot, and he misses. Is that just a confidence thing? Confidence are trying to be too perfect. Get it on the net. That's the number one goal. Gets it back. Syracuse is across the blue line. Here's a short pass to Scott. They've got the defense outnumbered. Sends it across. Fails to find the open man. Here's a chance. Comes up with the stop. Gibson's goaltending at one end and the offensive output at the other has made for a good night. Great pass from the left wing. Scrum along the boards. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Quick feed to Mateau. Syracuse takes possession at center. Nice dish from the left wing. Witkowski's got it along the boards. Oh, and he'll be shaking his head on that as they were so close. Syracuse has possession of it now. Wrist wow. shot from the slot. He scores! And a big one on that! Oh, well, the rookie comes through in his first playoff year with his first playoff goal. Well, if he was about four inches taller, maybe he would have got to that desperation effort, but no go. Syracuse has been all over them right from puck drop, and they lead it big time late in this third period. Smith won possession. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Handles it along the blue line. Turns him away. That's all she wrote from this one. Ray, it's the proverbial drawing of first blood as they take the 1-0 series lead. A well-played game for them. Now they've got a leg up. You try to, game by game, chip away at your opponent's confidence. Well, that closes the book on this playoff barn burner for Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. We will see you as the playoffs roll on towards the quest for the cup.